Hey, it's Friday, 22nd of July. Didn't get a video done last week, uh, but uh, we, we were in uh, Ohio at, at the American Horse Show. But, and we're getting ready now for our open house, Thursday, August 4th. Looking at a few succulents here. Uh, everybody seems to like them today, obviously. So um, we'll see what we got around for availability in the coming week. We want to remind you that on Thursday, August 5th, we'll have our annual open house. We'd love to have you come up and see some of the product we have and maybe have something, grab something to eat on the grill anytime during the day from 9 till 3. Uh, so if you're able to, please stop by. We're looking at here at a geranium uh, from Syngenta Breeding. You're probably familiar with Caliente Fire. Just look at how great it looks in the full, full sun. And uh, the red, it's a really rich, rich red. Some of our uh, favorite Serfinia petunias, pink radiance petunias. This is a Serfinia. This is a Purple Majesty. And uh, this is the Thumbergia Arizona Glow that you may have gotten this year. So it's really taken off. And one of the full sun begonias you're probably familiar with also, and Canto Orange, along with a kaleidoscope of sun patients. So we hope to see you Thursday, August 4th. Give us a call. Let us know if you're coming, if you can, just so we can plan the food. But we'd like to see either way. Looking at some four inch peppers, getting some uh, color on here. And you can see this nice purple one. Um, and we got a lot of different colors and different shapes and sizes. This is uh, the variety Medusa. That'll be changing color pretty soon. Then we'll scan over here pretty quickly. And there's a this taller variety that many of you know called uh, Sangria is coloring up now. Let's get some nice purple, purple uh, fruit on it. And we have some six inch, but they're gonna be a couple more weeks. So four inch peppers. Just taking a look at some Selenia begonias. We've still got a lot of begonias. We grew these on purpose because they do so well in the summer. These Selenias are semi semi pendulous, so um, if they, they they mound very nicely, and the flowers drape over the sides somewhat. So some great color here. Take a look down here. And you can see uh, see all the color on these different Selenia begonias that can go in shade or full sun you know partial partial shade is absolutely or partial sun is absolutely perfect for this crop uh, but they can they're very tolerant of uh, of either either amount of light so along with the uh, solenia begonias uh, as we say many times there's six inch and four inch elatier begonias with a whole different color range and of course these like to be uh, in shade uh, and they are also a great house plant. Eladia begonia is four inch and six inch. We have six inch sun patients, and you can see that uh, there's plenty of color, uh, good value in a six inch pot, very full. Uh, I went by a box store today and uh, I was surprised how small the plants were, the sun patients that were in. Uh, in their offering there. So I think this would give you good value, great for landscape jobs also. If you haven't gotten these yet, these uh, one gallon hardy gypsophila uh, have gone very well. We have uh, a few left out here. So they're looking good and there's still a lot of buds coming up along. A uh, good color, gypsophila. Monarda, just, just coming into bloom now. So these will last quite a while, one, one gallon or seven inch uh, Monarda, a few different colors. One gallon or 17 centimeter Cannas, good color. Just come, uh, coming into bloom or in bloom actually with buds coming right behind them. Taking a look at a Patio Gerbera, uh, Serengeti is this name. I'm hoping you're gonna get a sense of how full these plants are in one gallon pots and there's fresh color coming along. These are going to bloom all summer. I think it's good value for your customers or for you to make money with. And you can see we've got a nice whole run of them. These are patios and then it transitions down towards the end into uh, Garvinia type, which 
are the smaller flowering varieties with just but with just as much flower power if not more in the long run so this like that pink we're looking at now is a garbinia so there's a really good selection bottom line of different uh, Gerbera all produced from tissue culture and all meant for the garden You probably are well aware that we do succulents. So I thought I'd just highlight Ripsalis uh, Usually we're pushing or you guys uh, typically want Echeveria, but I thought I'd mention the Ripsalis since uh, It's actually the one true cactus that we actually grow Everything else is we say succulents, but there's many different genera, uh, but the Ripsalis is actually a cactus and the common name is mistletoe cactus. A lot of fun things you can make with uh, the different succulents because of the way they sit so tidy and have different colors. So this this little bowl we made is uh, full of strictly uh, just hens and chicks, Semper vivums, and it's just uh, a nice eye-catching item. These are six inch pots of Calancho thersifolia but in uh, reality, there's a bunch of common names such as uh, flapjacks and red lips. And you can see the red lips name from this time of year where we're getting really good sun that'll create that red edge. And as, as they get colder in the fall, that red will be very, very intense. And they can take a few frosts as most succulents do. It's a little tough in the spring to get them out and let them freeze. They're not ready, but in the fall they'll, they'll do a great job uh, lasting through, say, November. Uh, most succulents, uh, even with the cold, uh, because they're so used to cold desert uh, nights. Here's some more, uh, some more six inch succulents. These happen to all be Echeveria. You can look at, look at the size of this one. This one uh, is huge. It's called Dick's Pink. And there's blue prints and a whole bunch of them in here. So these are all six inch Echeveria. They go nicely with the six inch Calancho Thersifolia. And what is another name for that? Yes, red lips, flapjacks. Lantana and many different colors for summer. So again, uh, these and some of the other hangers I've showed you in the past, the Vinca, Cora and Flower. So I won't make you look at them all, but we do have fresh, fla fresh, fresh hangers, including Calabracoa, for the summer. Got some Sun Patient hangers we've grown for the summer. They're moving out nicely and good size. So lots of color here. If you're looking for hangers or any landscape jobs to drop these in the ground. You know, again, more uh, Calabracoa with good color, and there's a lot of different colors. Yeah, I know, I know I told you we wouldn't have to look at the Vinca, but it's just, uh, there's just so much color on it, I couldn't help myself. So, uh, you know, 10 inch Vinca, and there's other colors besides. We're looking at some 10 inch Alstromeria. You can see uh, we planted these for the summer, so you can see that they're, there's good green growth on it. They're just coming into a good bloom now. Uh, we've got some different crops, different ages of sun patients in 10 inch pots. So as you know, this uh, again, I'm taking this on a Thursday actually. And this is one group that's gonna be in good color for next week. So you can see it's not outdated. And there's a couple other locations, uh, just not right next to them now that have, uh, have some good, good color uh, on 10 and size on 10 inch sun patients. Uh, in case you haven't seen these uh, dinner plate or semi-dinner plate dahlias, uh, we've still got uh, some that have not even bloomed yet. So these are coming along nicely, some different colors, uh, nice size, actually huge size of flowers on these uh, dahlias from bulbs from Holland. Sneaking in a photo or a little piece of uh, calabaco, we actually had it this year. Uh, but just getting introduced, Candy Bouquet from the breeder Westhoff in Germany. It's a nice mounding one uh, that you might like for next year. Did I mention that we have herbs all the time? Oh, oh I did? Okay. Uh, uh, sorry about that. But some, some lemon thyme. Uh, again, more every week. Some young basil. And a little bit older basil in the distance, so plenty of basil. Yeah, we still have uh, five inch products, so you can keep your benches full with lantana, salvia, for example, 
the sky blue and the blue emotion. So still, uh, we're here to provide you with product uh, for the rest of the summer and we'll be transitioning into mums in no time. Here's some of our six inch cyclamen coming along. So um, if you have space and September or October you're interested in finishing them, we will have them available as pre-finished in both four inch and six inch. And if you want to wait, we'll have them as a finished form for October, November, December. Four inch and six inch. So it's day, yeah, yeah, yeah.